Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Welcome today, I am going to do a handbag reveal and this one is long overdue because I have already revealed this on my blog. Um, so if you didn't know, I do have a blog, so I'll link that in the info bar below, but I also have Instagram. So if you prefer more fashion related content, outfits, it's how I style my bags, that sort of thing, go and check out my blog and my Instagram. I do post a lot of pictures on there if you guys are interested. So as I mentioned this one, I have already revealed in my blog and I included some outfit photos. So go and check that out. But it did come in this bag right here. Can't really tell in this bag, but you can sort of tell on this tag where it says JW Anderson. Before I reveal to you guys what this is, if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you stumbled upon this channel because you're interested in this bag, hi, my name is June. I am a Doctor by Day YouTuber by Night. I make videos on luxury, fashion, um, beauty, and then I do some vlogs as well. So if you are interested, if you're curious, go and check out my channel and subscribe if you would like. But without further ado, let's get on to the reveal. So this is a reveal because I've had this for quite a few weeks now. Um, and this one I actually have been umming and ahhing about for a while just because it's such a Marmite bag. If you thought that my Chanel like CC delivery was a bit like hit or miss, you'll definitely you'll definitely think that this one is even more of like a Marmite piece. It's definitely very, very polarizing. Some people either love it, some people really hate it. And I know a few YouTubers who actually despise this bag. Two that I can name from the top of my head is Mel and Jerusha, so they have mentioned this bag in like a, what was it, like a luxury roast tag where they mentioned the top 10 ugliest bags ever. <laughs> and this was one of them and I was like, oh girl, you don't even know. So like, I love those two girls, um, you know, they're absolutely entitled to their own opinion and this is just a case of, you know, to each their own. Some people love um, certain types of bags, but it really shouldn't influence you on, you know, whether or not you get it. If you love it, get it. It's really what um, the bag does for you. Um, if it makes you happy, if you enjoy wearing it, if you know you look at it and you, in your mind you just think of a million and one ways to wear it and you're excited by it, get it because that is for you. The bag is for you, not for anyone else. So just to put it out there, you, not everyone's gonna love this bag and I don't care. <laughs> not everyone's gonna love this bag and I don't mind, that's perfectly fine. But I really wanted to share it with you guys because I'm completely smitten by it. I absolutely love it. And this was actually something that is a bit of a surprise because when I first saw it, I actually did really, really hate it. I thought it was hideous and I do have to agree with Jerusha. It kind of, it, you know, it didn't look right. It looked weird. Um, so, you know, I completely get it but at the same time this was total like Instagram like social media influence um, influencer influence <laughs> yeah this was totally um, influenced by social media I am the first to admit it I get a bit like that I am t completely swayed by the masses I think this one was a positive thing because I'm not regretting it at all and the reason why I'm so excited by it was because this is another amazing secondhand purchase so before you guys kill me shall we just get on to the bag so here we go it does come in this dust bag right here to reveal Da, 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 da. Oh, that's not right. Bam! <laughs> so this is the J.W. Anderson Pierce bag and I actually got it in the tan and I absolutely love it. Um, this one was completely influenced by Tamira, Tamara, Tam Tamira. Yeah, another a fellow YouTuber. Um, I will include her video in the info bar and her Instagram. I fell in love with how she styled it, and also um, another one is Anu Anu Kubre Anu Kubre, and also Nissi. You guys know I I have these two um, twin German bloggers that I follow and I adore, and like I just would wear everything that they wear. I will literally buy anything that they would rec they recommend because I'm obsessed with them. Um, and Nissi had this and it just looked gorgeous on her and I loved how she styled it and I couldn't get it off my mind for the longest time 
and you know for the price is actually not a bad piece to purchase brand new these are actually retailing at matches fashion for 1700 or 1800 Australian dollars including duties and tax which I think is a great buy for an all leather piece you know Louis Vuitton and um, their never full pieces are like 1600 Australian dollars and that's all canvas so this is all leather which is amazing and it's just it's a gorgeous gorgeous bag um, so you can get it for basically 1500 Australian dollars which is amazing so I was like strongly strongly considering getting this for the longest time um, and I know this was sort of like this completely oversaturated the market um, or Instagram initially when it first came out but now that the hype has slowly died down I actually love being able to wear this more um, this certainly is a tread piece so it's not something that is going to last forever but honestly you know with the saddle bag with the Dior saddle bag what that has taught me is that you know you can basically rock a bag any any time it's just it really depends on whether or not you're willing to do that so uh, you never know I might still be rocking this in five ten years time I don't really care so um, I'm, I'm trying to just be I'm honestly just trying to branch out a little bit more in my bags because I am stuck to the classics for far too long and yeah I just want to mix it up and have like a, you know more varying pieces because I don't want to sound like really bougie or anything like that but Chanel classic flaps they're kind of everywhere at the moment so yeah anyways so moving on to this bag so this bag is the JW Anderson Pierce bag I got it in the medium size and this is in the tan like mahogany sort of color um, it's just a gorgeous gorgeous rich brown color and I've, I've been obsessed with having like a brown bag these I have the um, Ex Nihilo like basket bag, which is a different colorway to this actually. That is more of like a light cognac brown, whereas this is ha this has like a reddish undertone. I this does have the pierce design, which sort of looks like a bull's um, piercing, um, and this opens up just like this. It's got this huge, huge compartment there, and one single pocket at the back, and this is lined in this like lilac grey. Um, suede lining and um, the interior is similar to like a Chloe Faye medium um, where it's got like the accordion style but this one is a lot more mushier I feel like you can fit um, not fit but like the leather of this is a lot softer so it lends itself to being able to fit a lot more now you will notice that the opening actually doesn't have anything to secure it so it just it literally just folds over and that's it there's no magnet to hold it in place there's no like snaps which surprised me and I was like huh that's interesting like why wouldn't you just put like a magnet to help it close but you know I, I don't mind it I haven't really had too many issues of it like opening but it does look sometimes it does make um, closing the bag look a little bit funny like this but it kind of just adds to the bag because it's got like a very <sighs> Like a very minimalist, don't really care, effortless, casual, you know, look to it. And then the back has no pocket there. Um, and the handle is like this really nice, short, like 90s handle, which means you can wear the bag on the shoulder like this. Um, or you can wear it top handle. And what I've been doing is I've actually been like really enjoying wearing this like even as a shoulder bag i just attach like my louis vuitton strap on here from my alma bb and i just attach it onto these d rings here and you know i can wear it as a shoulder bag as a crossbody so very very versatile and definitely saw i uh, who did i see do that I forgot who, which one of the twins, there's another twin blogger <laughs> duo that I follow and they're Australian. Uh, the girls from Twice Blessed and I love them. They're Christian which is really cool and um, their fashion is amazing but I forgot which one of them had it um, but they have like a black version of this and they have like a strap to go with it. It's very very versatile in that way. What? Finally won me over with this bag is um, initially, I have to admit initially I was like Ooh, it kind of looks like a nose ring. I'm not really sure. It looks a bit weird. Um, but what won me over was after I saw I saw this bag being styled like a clutch, and you can sort of just insert your hand um 
through the ring and sort of just wear it like this as a as a clutch I just think that looks really really cool um, and it just I just warmed up to it in the end like I just really liked it so you know if you see this bag you're probably gonna be like not really my cup of tea but I'm excited by it I love it and I've already styled this bag a few times it looks really cool with like straight leg jeans um, with a dress with a skirt um, quite versatile like I said and it actually fits quite a lot and another bonus of this bag is I was actually able to get it secondhand again from eBay because I love that store and I got it from a private seller I had her send me a lot of photos and she's actually quite lovely I did notice that on the sides here it does have glazing and um, there is bit of cracking which I mentioned to the seller which she kindly gave me like um, a bit of the final price for so overall I paid about 1000 Australian dollars for this so you know $500 less than what I would pay on matches fashion or $700 depending on whether or not you've got a discount which I think you know for an all leather bag it's in the color it's in the exact color and the um, size that I want this leather though I have to note is very very soft so you will find if you have sharp things and you put it inside the bag it can actually protrude out so if say um, I had this pouch which a lot of you guys have been very very curious about on my Instagram um, this is basically like a um, Chanel pouch it's like a key patch um, and this is I've got some stuff inside but this is what it looks like inside I think this is like the O O what is this called this is like the O case key patch or something like that it's basically got this ring that you can put your keys in and then you pop it in there so it's not quite a coin I don't think that they're selling it as a coin purse I think they're selling it as a key pouch um, but I don't know if it's still available they have come out like with various different designs on this like where they have like a camellia they also have this in lamb skin which would have been lovely but I do have it in the caviar um, so yeah a lot of you guys were curious so that's that I got this one second hand as well sorry I got distracted there if I put like something like this in the bag you can see that like it uh, it's not sharp enough let's put this here so you can see where there's a sharp thing sticking out. That can happen if you don't carefully place your items or you know place them in pouches and things like that. But overall, there's, I really have no complaints about this bag. It fits quite a lot, like a lot more than you'd think. And um, yeah, it's got a really, really generous pocket at the back as well, unlike the Chloe Faye. Um, but... That is my new bag. I'm obsessed. Let me know what you guys think. You know, I don't mind if you think it's hideous. I don't mind if you think it's ugly. Um, like, that's your opinion as long as you sort of don't get too negative about it because I, I did, you know, I do really like that bag. So, what other bags you've got your eye on, if you thought about it and decided against it or whatever have you, I would love to know. So, I just want to say again, thank you so much to everyone who's been so, so wonderful and supportive lately. As mentioned, if you're curious about how I style this bag or how I wear it, go and check out my Instagram and my blog. There's lots and lots of photos and eye candy for you guys there. If you want me to do like a what's in my bag or what fits in this bag, let me know. Or if you want me to compare it with any of my other bags um, that, you know, in my collection, just comment and request. Just request in the comments bar below. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully you're having a wonderful week or weekend. Please check out the rest of my videos. If you're interested in another handbag video, I have quite a few on my channel. So I will put the playlist up there. Go and check that out or I'll put it in the info bar. Go and check it out. That's it for me. I'm going to leave it there. It is Friday. I'm going to go and hang out with my bestie. Going to watch a movie, have some pizza. It's all good. I love you guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful week or weekend and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.